the Anglo Arms Desert Master. Bought for two reasons. One, it was quite cheap, and two, I think it's a really, really attractive looking knife. That's it with Anglo Arms knives, aren't they, really? They look really, really nice. They're not always that great. And Desert Master may be a slightly optimistic name. I think if you decide you were the new Harry Bagnold going to map the empty quarter in your Model T Ford, which is a fascinating story, well worth looking at. Wonderful uh, Edwardian. Hi, there's a desert. Right, I've got a Model T Ford. Let's go and have a look at it, shall we? Why not? I'm going to map all of it. And he pretty much did. Or perhaps you're in the SAS looking for a recommendation for a new knife for something sneaky in Syria. And you think, good Lord, that's a handsome looking knife. I might go and take that to Johnny Foreigner. You would be disappointed. You'd be seriously erroneous. I think the only desert this is going to master is Dungeness in Kent, which is England's only desert. And it's not very big. Um, and it's overlooked by a nuclear power station. And it's a bit grim, to be honest. Um, yeah, I didn't really like it that much. And I got really badly sunburnt when I went there. So, let's have a look at it, shall we? Uh, hmm, nylon, okay. You could argue that your popper's going to get um, worn out in Sahara. You could also argue that all this is going to get terribly full of sand. Reasonably nice sheath. I mean, it is, it is an attractive looking thing. Not a huge belt clip. Um, nice bit of... Uh, what the hell is this? Paracord. Well, I imagine that flapping around after a while would drive you up spare. But fortunately, you've got a knife to deal with it. So, this is it. I, 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 just, I just think it's really, really, really attractive as a knife. Reasonably reasonable size. Hold it quite nicely. Bit of jimping to hang on to. Yep. What sort of grind do we have here? Convex grind. Or should that be concave? Don't know. Um, right. Let's start looking at quality, shall we? Now. Hmm. The steel is 420. It's rust resistant. It's got a lot of chrome in it. So you can get quite a nice finish on it like that. Um, fortunately, it is also very, very easy to sharpen and to make. Hmm, you may notice a problem there. Easy to sharpen, hmm, easy to make, easy to work. Hmm, that is soft. Yes, it's soft for a steel. I mean, it's adequate. Like I said, if you're you know, strolling around parts of sandy parts of Kent, it'll be fine with this. So you'll get arrested because it's obviously not legal unless you put own part of it. Um, hmm, so that's the downfall there, really. The handle material is Makata. It's like G10, but now this is quite, it could get quite interesting. It's made from natural materials. Mm, a piece of love and ecology, man. Uh, the fact that it is very, very coarse, as you can see here on the colouring, indicates that it's probably made out of canvas. It can also be made out of fibre, fabric, linen, stuff like that. Um, ironically, the best thing you can say about Makata, I think it's brilliant, is that its uh, cold and wet grip is really, really good. <laughs> Which obviously is just what you need in a desert. Although apparently deserts do get cold and wet occasionally. That's not what they're known for though, is it? Um, it's not as strong as G10. It will absorb sweat and moisture, so it will start looking, I think, eventually quite nice. Um, which I think is probably the best we can say for the Desert Master. Really, it looks quite nice. Let's try the pencil sharpening test. How's this going to go? Hmm, that's sort of bludgeoning its way through the wood, really, rather than actually trimming anything. So it's actually, yeah, not too bad. As long as you don't have to sharpen a pencil in a hurry. Probably quite a useful thing to take to a desert, actually. It won't dry out like a pen, will it? And you can use it for all sorts of things pointing and waving and sketching deserts. Now, actually, that's not done too bad, is it? All right, surprise there. Uh, paper cut. Let us see. Ah. Hmm. Oh, there we are. Well, perhaps if we sharpened it. God, look at that. That's, that's just from um, trying to sharpen a pencil. Hmm. Well, there we go. Anglo Arms Desert Master. Not really a desert master, but still quite a handsome looking knife, I think. That's probably all that can be said for it. I like it though, but it's only get a one okay from me.